need to start assembling over there. I'm fed up with children in my class being referred to as data that may or may not earn me a pay rise. Support children, support education, support teachers. The front line of defence against cuts and austerity is the organised working class. And that is why the Tories and big business want to tighten the legal noose around our necks. They will have a fight on their hands. And but this can only happen because there's a political consensus across all the main political parties. And I've got a message for Ed Balls and Ed Miliband. Don't tell us you're going to stick to the Tory spending plans because we all know what that means. It means more cuts, it means more privatisation. So our message to you is, you stand up for the people who support you and the way the Tories stand up to the bankers. If you're not prepared to do that, you can go to hell. Unite private sector workers fully support our strike. I've had messages of sodality today from British Airways, from Scunthorpe steel workers, from Rolls Royce, from all over the place. RMT will always back workers fighting to achieve a fair deal. RMT members and activists have been encouraged to offer and to take part to colleagues working in the public sector in today's industrial action over pay and conditions. So the rich, the energy companies and the bankers, they are not wealth creators. They are nothing more than shameless parasites living on the work of the rest of society. Comrades, I bring you uh, solidarity greetings from Bristol Trades Council, which is the local uh, part of the, of the TUC. So it represents branches across all industries in Bristol, both public sector and private sector. Profit before care, profit before the elderly and profit before children. Essential services slipping away every single day. Libraries and sports centres and elderly care homes being closed. They took your pensions and they took away your conditions and they've even started to take away your jobs. For those of us that are left in the public service sector, the offer, a single 1% pay rise in the past four years, simply doesn't cut it. Let's get the money where the money should be coming from. Not from the poor, yeah. not from the low pay, but from the people at the top end. Together, unionised workers like ourselves can take up a fight against the Tories' austerity. And by doing so, we'll help not just our own members, but all the diverse groups in society who are facing crisis because of the cuts. The unemployed, the disabled, asylum seekers, the elderly. Our interests are all fundamentally the same. We need to unite and stay united in a determined campaign to win a decent standard of living for everyone. Fight austerity. Britain needs a pay rise. For the necessity to show this government that he can't walk over workers in this country is a necessity for us to walk out on strike today with all you. How, what are we to do now? We have to build the widest possible alliance because that is the most effective way to defeat austerity and the pay freeze. The power of the trade union movement as it was today in Bristol 
and cities up and down this country needs to be galvanised. It's not one union going on its own. We should all be going out together, joint coordinated action to defeat this government. Because I'll tell you this, a couple of years ago, there was 20,000 people marched in this city to defend pensions. That, to the shame of our movement, was sold out. But there was something fundamental happened there. And not only meant that our pensions were stolen, it meant something else. It gave Cameron and Osborne the green light to increase and to deepen their austerity agenda. And that's the reason we have food banks. That's the reason why we got the bedroom tax. So I'll say on behalf of PCS, we are determined to see us through to the finish. And not just a one day strike, but to build for action with all the unions in the public sector, coordinated by the TUC. And I'll say this, no more excuses. Everybody knows it's about sticking together. Because, because in a sense, the Tories are right. There's no alternative. But we say there's no alternative but to fight. If we stick together, we'll not just defeat the pay freeze, we'll defeat austerity. Stick together, joint coordinated action. Thank you.